Oh, that is Motown legend Martha Reeves. She's the lead singer of the group Martha and the Vandellas. The group is known for hits like Heat Wave and Dancing in the Street, Nowhere to Run, Jimmy Mack, and the list goes on and on. Martha is taking part in a special event with fans this weekend in Burbank, and she's joining us live in studio to talk about all of it. Oh, it is just wonderful to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. It is just <laughs> amazing to have you here. And, and when you look at those videos like that and you see yourself, what goes through your mind? Well, Rosalind and Betty were really in sync, and uh, there was very little room. Yeah. And I'm surprised that, you know, that, that's from England. Yeah. It's still being shown. It's, wow. it's uh, 60 years. Yeah, 60 years. Wow. <laughs> and is it true that you were a secretary and you were discovered in a, in a club? Is that true? All my career, I've had to defend that. It's not true? It's true. Yeah, uh, you were oh, just... Okay, I was asked to come to Hitsville, USA with uh -huh. the card uh -huh. from William Stevenson, the A&R director. You see, I had won a, a talent contest at the Warfield Theater where everybody, uh -huh. amateur, would go and compete. Uh -huh. My contest prize was uh -huh. three nights at a place called the Tony Grand, wow. a nightclub that was very well known and some of the biggest acts in the industry would appear there. Yeah. So my reward was three nights at the happy hour. Wow. That's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. And on Sunday night, when I'm ready to get home before my dad would lock the door because <laughs> he couldn't go in after 12. Oh, I yeah. I was 21 and still living at my dad's house. Mm -hmm. uh, William Stevenson gave me a card and said, come to Hitsville, USA. Well, on that card was Mary Wells, uh -huh. the first female uh, artist on Motown to make a hit record. Yes. Um, Marv Johnson, You Got What It Takes. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, Eddie Holland had a record I'll call Jamie. So Eddie decided he didn't want to be singer because it was too much confusion mm -hmm. with, um, with uh, interviews and getting up in the mm -hmm. morning and girls pulling and tucking him because we were so fine. <laughs> and uh, we had the Miracles, Smokey's mm -hmm. group. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw that card, I took it home to my dad. He said, go quit your job at the Citywide Cleaners. Oh, wow. And you can go there at secretary time and see what happened. So when I showed up, William Stevenson was there. Uh -huh. But he had on the same suit he had on the night before oh. when he gave me that card. He had been up all night, and Motown stayed open all, all 24 hours. Yes. He was writing a song for this drummer named Marvin Gaye. Oh. And Marvin was the fourth drummer on the list. And as I was in that office, uh, he said, what are you doing here? Uh-huh. Because the girl at the desk just let me in when I asked for William Stevenson. Uh -huh. She said, oh, who are you talking about, Mickey? Uh -huh. I said, if that's who you're looking for, sure. <laughs> so, um, buzzed the door. There he was in the same attire. Wow. And his, his uh, waves had been a little must. And he had <laughs> taken off his jacket and loosened his tie, rolled up his sleeves because he was busy. As the studio was always busy. There was yeah. uh, 14 writers on that staff. Uh -huh. And they all reported to uh, Hitsfield, just like if they were going to the Ford Motor Company, where yeah. Barry was also employed at one time. Uh -huh. He was such an entrepreneur. He did everything. Yes, yes. And so uh, mm -hmm. coming to that office, he looked at me and said, what are you doing here? I said, what do you mean? Don't you remember giving me a card last night? He said, yeah, we have auditions every third Thursday. There were people lined up when I got there, yeah. just like American Idol. And uh, he said, you should have taken that card and called me back. Oh. Well, so I said, well, I don't know. What am I going to do? He said, answer this phone. I'll yeah. be right back. Four lines on the phone. They're all lit up, right? But I could see that one's for the sales department, one's for the studio, a one's Barry's office, and one's for, his, for the Hitsville USA mm -hmm. office, which is where the music is made, mm -hmm. artist repertoire department. Mm -hmm. I did. I got in. I answered the phone. I had a commercial course in high school. And I tried to encourage anybody that wants to do anything in life Get your education. Yes. Everything yes. you learn in school, you use it in your life. Yes, yes. So it's like the plan that God puts in your mother's womb. Yes. You got yes. a plan. You have so a plan. So learn that stuff. Learn yes. everything. So because I had a commercial course, mm -hmm. I was an adequate secretary. <laughs> but I wasn't assigned as a secretary or given the secretary salary. Oh, okay. I did demos. Okay. My first demo became my first record. Wow. The union man came in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and said somebody should be on the mic and you record uh, the tracks because they were recording track after track all day long because yeah. the, yeah. the funk brothers the jazz musicians were just that learned it and they learned how to play together yes. and you know in sync and they made hit after hit they played different when they had a the reeves project 
They played different when they had a Supreme pro Project. Yeah. They played different when it was for The Temptations or for Stevie Wonder, yes. who did most of his productions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a wonderful place to be. Yes, yes. And it's been 60 years since your first two albums with the Vandellas. Yes. Uh -huh. And you have the Hollywood show today mm -hmm. and tomorrow, mm -hmm. so people can actually go oh, yeah. meet you, yes. get autographs. Yes. That's true. And all of the friends that I met when I lived here 14 years. Oh, I expect yes. all of them to show up. All of them to be there. And we <laughs> yes. also want to mention that you're getting a star on the Walk of Fame 2024. You're going to be selling memorabilia this weekend to raise the funds for the Walk of Fame I've event. I've been star on the Hollywood oh, Walk of Fame. That's amazing. I'm trying to calm down. Oh, it's so exciting. It's Don't happen. calm down. It's going to happen in 2024. So 2024. I've got time to plan and yes. keep raising funds so that I can have a real good reception. Oh, you're going to have a big party. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bless your Such heart. a pleasure to meet you. And of course, you can meet Martha at the Hollywood Show today and tomorrow at the Burbank Marriott. And you can also find more information by going to our website, kcalnews.com, and click Seen on TV.